Welcome, thanks for joining us here today. We are getting ready for our Valentine's Day event with Full Expressions, and we're meeting more brewers. We'll have some samples from Scorpion, and we're here with Brian. Brian, thanks for your time. So you've been here for a little while though. You're getting really established here in the community. How yeah. long have we been here? I've uh, been open to the public for eight years, been incorporated for 10. 10, that's wild. And you guys are expanding and getting bigger. What are some of the changes we're seeing here? So some of the changes we have is we've moved our tasting area over to the other side, which was our warehouse before. Uh, we've cleared up the warehouse, pushed things aside, just to give a little more room for our customers. And you know, we really pushed it because of the social distancing. We wanted to keep yeah. people as far away as possible and our Old tasting room was very intimate. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really nice, though. But it was a nice spot. <laughs> and you still have outdoor seating. You have all that stuff. On we have there. outdoor seating yeah. both out back. We have a fire pit on the side, so we still have a lot of outdoor. We have the heaters going. So. And even in the back, you're doing some outdoor stuff. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then, well, as time and, and weather allows, you do uh, music and stuff too. Yep. Yeah. So you can very rarely come by on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday and not see a food truck and some music and some food. And yeah, we got all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah, we have a Facebook page and Instagram that oh, we yeah. post everything to. So. And what is the uh, Facebook page? Uh, Scorpion Brewing and okay. Scorpion Brewing for the Instagram also. So. And website? Uh, www.scorpionbrewing.com Then you couldn't make it any easier. No, it's very easy. It's <laughs> pretty all right, so what some of the beers we have now, or what kind of things we have coming? You do so, a point of rotation. We right? rotate, we yeah. put a new beer on pretty much every week. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's just a little five gallon batch that we sell out within a day or two. But other times we have a bigger batch, like actually we're brewing today, some of our Southern Sweet. Middle IPA, it's really popular. Yeah. It just ran out on Friday, so we're uh, doing more. We're doing IPA, more. It's IPA gonna be, go fast. yeah, but we also have a nice cashed out IPA it was made with cashmere hops that's on, uh, limited edition. So we only have probably another five kegs of that left. Uh, but that's highlighting a new ca uh, hop variety called Cashmere. Okay, so cool. uh, that one people have really been jumping on to, like a lot. Uh, we are going to be releasing our vanilla quarter yeah, for exactly. Valentine's Day. So that's that's kind of the big Valentine's beer for us. It's a really nice kind of chocolatey quarter with some vanilla notes to it. So it uh, goes pairs really well with chocolates and fruits and all that. You guys always have quite a variety. You don't even have, like, have staples necessarily. You usually do an IPA and some kind of porter, but yep. it's a lot of variety. We do. We try to mix it up and uh, make sure you have, have reason to keep coming back. We have some lighter options. We also start making craft seltzer. Yep. So our seltzer is basically we make a base seltzer and then we have a bunch of different mix-ins so you can Whatever yeah. flavor you feel like having that day, we just mix it right here in the spot. Even, even the lawnmower is a lighter, yep. easy Yeah, lawnmower and yeah. snowblower for the winter time. Snowblower so for the snowblower. That's our little <laughs> secret. There's uh, no difference between lawnmower and snowblower. The weather. Just the time. That's the yeah, difference. Yeah, you can say it's whether you're sitting inside or outside and drink it, really. Is. And that's my chance to pull a little plug to try to do the Scottish Hill anytime soon. Oh, you know, yeah. whenever, whenever you want to yeah. do that again, yeah. that's, that's probably my yeah. biased favorite. We do have some high, high test beers on. We have a bourbon barrel porter right now. We have a nitro, which we're going to try to get that. Uh, um, Vanilla porter on the nitro. Oh. So nitro draft something. So we can't good. really sell you to go, but you can have here, and it's really yummy. I've been trying to ask most of the brewers, and they usually skirt, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What is your favorite brew to oh, make? My favorite beer to to make is actually the porter. The porter. Uh, my favorite dr beer to drink is the uh, Ors Out Stout, which isn't on oh, right now. Yeah, that's but a good one a, too. Uh, you know, 10 yeah. to 15 percent alcohol stout. So you just need. But it's hard to make. Yeah. Very, very hard to make. So it's not my favorite to make, but it's definitely favorite my favorite drink. to drink. That is awesome. I also like the Treaty of Ghent, which is on. We have only a little bit, limited amount of that left, too. Uh, what is that? The Treaty of Ghent is a Belgian, uh, Belgian. Abbey Ale, so it's got, we aged it for over a year. It's got all sorts of really cool stone fruit notes, cool. like little cherry, little plum kind of thing going on with it, just from the aging process pulled out. Awesome. And it's like, got a little spice, like uh, uh, coriander. So it'll be kind of a surprise the one we pick for the uh, flower. Be, it's going to be delicious, whatever it is. But it yep. may be a little porter if we get an opportunity. Mm, but maybe. it might be something else. But it's going to be a, it's going to be delicious. So stop on by. You know, Heidi's food truck will be there. You'll have samples of the various local breweries, and it's going to be delicious. So, right. and in the meantime, make sure you stop and try it for yourself. They're easy to find right off of Skinner's Turn yep, Road. Yeah, Skinner's Turn Road. Open uh, four to eight on Thursday and Friday. Uh, let's see, today's Saturday, so Saturday is 3 to 7 and 1 to 5 on Sunday. And if you didn't memorize that, it's on the Facebook page. It too. is, yep, and you can find it. So we appreciate your time as always. Right, thanks man. a lot. All right, talk to you soon.